Hi, everybody. I am Kim Michelle, and we are here for Tune Into Yourself Tuesday. We're going to start seated. So I have a bolster to sit on. If you want to sit on some blocks or pillow or something to make your hips a little bit higher than your feet. And come on into easy seat. And maybe move the flesh out from underneath you. And maybe do a little rotation. So maybe lean to the front, lean to the back, lean from side to side so you can get your perfect grounding. And we'll do three breaths before we do our grounding and meditation exercise. So inhale, let the belly expand, exhale, release. Inhale, reach the crown of your head up toward the heavens. Exhale, release. Inhale, feel, fill that belly and the chest. And exhale, release. Now, if your eyes are closed, let them remain, remain closed. If not, give yourself a relaxed gaze. We're going to think about what's in this present moment. Think about, if your eyes are open, what you can see. Something fabulous in your room or wherever you are outside. Think of something. We're going to just think about it. We're not going to look at it. So let's think about that beautiful item that's in within our sight. Think about what you hear. Do you hear cars driving by you? Maybe the refrigerator is going on in your room. Maybe you have a furry friend that's breathing heavily. Now rub your hands on your thighs. Feel your yoga pants or your bare legs. Notice how they feel on your fingertips. Now maybe reach down and rub your feet. Feel the difference between your pants and your bare skin. Now think about your smell. Do you smell your dinner cooking or the dinner you just ate? Do you smell a yummy candle? In the last sense, taste what's in your mouth. Maybe you're tasting some sweet potatoes from your dinner. Something sweet, maybe it's savory. Okay, we are in this present. Let's gently blink, open our eyes. Namaste, welcome to your practice. We're going to start warming up our neck because uh, with this kind of weather, sometimes our joints get a little crackly. So let's look down at our chest, roll the head over toward the right, let it fall backwards, over to the right and down. Feel the full range of motion as that neck rotates. Now let's go the opposite way. All righty, now let's take the nose and look down at the right underarm. Maybe take the right ring finger, give it an extra little tug.
Release the hand, look up. Now point the nose toward the left underarm and grab the back of the head with the left ring finger. This is just a gentle guide. We are not yanking really hard on our sensitive neck. Release that hand and let the head come up right. Now think about taking the right ear over to the right shoulder. And maybe lift the left arm up. Let the fingertips point up toward the sky. You can feel a little nerve glide. Let the fingertips drop. Raise the fingertips up. You can feel the nerves opening up under the wrist and to the elbow. Drop the left arm, raise the head up. Now bring the left ear to the left shoulder. Maybe reach out with the right arm, let those fingertips point upwards, and then let them fall. Let the fingers up, go up, and down. And up and down. All right. Let's inhale the hands overhead, looking at those fingertips touch and drop the right hand. Reach up and over with the left hand. Reach the fingertips up, drop the left hand, reach up and over. Reach the fingertips up, bend it over to the left. Up, over to the right. Let those fingertips touch overhead. And let's drop the left hand to the right knee. And take the right hand behind us. Inhale, reach the crown of the sky toward the ceiling. Exhale, twist the belly button to the right. Inhale, elongate the spine. Exhale, twist. Inhale, lengthen all the vertebrae. Feel the space in between. Exhale, maybe look toward the back if it feels good in your neck. If it doesn't feel good in your neck, just let the head be in the same position with the shoulders. Inhale here. Exhale, twist. Inhale. Exhale, take the right hand and place it on the left knee. And roll the chin to the chest and fold forward. Inhaling. Exhale, letting gravity pull you down. Roll the body up. And we'll take the right hand and place it on the left knee. And take the left hand and place it behind us. Inhale, reach the crown toward the sky. Exhale, twist the belly button to the left. Inhale. Twist the shoulders to the left. Inhale. Maybe look back. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, unwind, coming back to the center. And so now we're going to do a uh, well, little Flex the spine forward and backwards with some cactus arms. So open up the arms and look up toward the ceiling. Exhale, bring the arms together and roll forward. Inhale, looking up, opening the arms. Exhale, close the arms and roll forward. One more. Open. Exhale. 
exhale. Now let's lengthen our legs out front. Whatever you're sitting on, you can move out of the way. And we'll inhale the arms overhead. And we're gonna exhale with a straight spine, looking at those fingertips, leaning forward, hinging at the hips. The belly comes to the thigh. And then go ahead and rest the hands on the shins and let the chin come toward the chest. Inhaling and exhaling. Inhaling and exhaling. One more inhale. Last exhale. Three. We did the neck, we did the upper back, we did the mid back, and now let's do our hips. So let's open up our feet and we're gonna do a little hip opening. We'll just dip the knees, alternately looking over the opposite shoulder, warming up our hip joints here. All right, let's come back to easy seat and take the foot and hold the knee in like we are rocking a baby, opening it up. And now let's rotate our foot with our hand one way, rotate the opposite way. Maybe thread the fingers in between the toes. I can do three toes. I can't do all four toes. And then that's a good way to flex the foot open and then roll the toes forward. Opening up the fascia. If you've ever suffered from plantar fasciitis, this is a good exercise to do. Alrighty, uncross the feet and cross them the opposite way. We'll bring that shin in and open up the hip, rocking it like a baby. Placing it back on the other leg. And we'll rotate the ankle here. Warming it up because we're going to be on our feet a little bit today. So we'll get those feet prepared. Roll it the opposite way. Now let's thread the fingers between the toes. Then flex the foot and bring it the opposite way. Flexing forward. Flexing and forward. All right, we're gonna come through tabletop and then hike up our hips and come up to our standing mountain. So I'm in tabletop, tuck those toes, bring the elbow back, and roll off the hands toward the feet, roll the body up. All righty, so imagine that we're on our Two and a half mile hike around our lake, and we're feeling some stuff in our hips and our lower back. And we think, boy, I wish I had my yoga mat so I could do my sun salutations. I don't know if you all ever think about that, but I do all the time. So we're going to do some sun salutations standing, but we're not going to lay our body down. So we'll start with our feet hip width apart, we'll lean to the front. Lean to the back, lean to the left, lean to the right. Finding our four corners and grounding into this moment. Shine the palms forward, open up those collarbones. Chin is parallel to the ground, knees are flexed. Let's inhale the arms overhead. Exhale, bring the hands through prayer pose, hinging at the hips, 
Let's stop at 90 degrees. Now our neck is long, hips are back is straight, and we have a 90 degree angle. Inhale here, exhale, bend the knees a little more and come into that forward fold. Our head is pulling us down. Inhale, exhale. Now your hands could be on your shins or your ankles. If they reach the ground, that's good. If they don't, that's good too. And you can have your knees bent so your belly is resting on the top of the thighs. Because we want to take some of the pressure out of the back and we're stretching our hamstring. So now let's inhale, come to our half fold. Exhale into the fold. Now bend the knees and round the body back the vertebrae, coming back to our stand. And shine the hands forward. That's the top half of our sun salutation. We'll do it one more time. Inhale the hands overhead. Exhale, hinging at the hips, coming all the way down into our forward fold. Inhale into our half fold, flat back, 90 degrees. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees and bring the body all the way up. Right. All right, now we're going to add on. Inhale the hands overhead. Exhale, hinge at the hips. Coming into the fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale the hands down. And step the right foot back into the left foot back. Now we're in a plank, but we're not going to lower our bodies down. We're just going to dip the hips and look forward. And so we're arching the back. And exhale, back to down dog. Three breaths here. Inhale. Exhale. Look in between those thighs. Maybe open up the feet a little bit. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Come up on the toes. Bend the knees. Look at the hands. Step one foot forward. Bend the other foot. Inhale as a flat back. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees, bring the body upright. Maybe bring the hands overhead, letting fingertips spike. Exhale through prayer into mountain. All right, inhale the hands up. Exhale, hinge the hips. Coming into forward fold. Inhale into flat back. Exhale the hands down. Let's step back to plank. We're going to stay in plank. We're going to dip the hips and look forward, arching the back, pushing into the hands, opening the collarbones. Exhale, lift the hips into down dog. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Come up on the toes, bend the knees, look at the hands, step one foot forward, step the second foot forward. Inhale into flat back, exhale, fold. Bend the knees, reach the hands overhead, exhale, hands through prayer, into mountain. One more time. Inhale the hands overhead, exhale. Hinging the hips, coming into our forward fold. Inhale into flat back. Exhale the hands down to the ground. Step back into high plank. Push into that plank. Your fingertips, your index, and your thumb are on the ground. Dip the hips. Look straight ahead. Exhale. 
into down dog. Inhaling, exhaling. Inhaling, exhaling. Come up on the toes. Step one foot forward. Step the second foot forward. Roll the body up. All right. That's our basic sun salutation. But instead of chaturanga, we just did dip the hips because if we were outside on grass or a path, we wouldn't want to put our whole body on the ground. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add on. So let's inhale and exhale, hinging at the hips, coming into our fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, step the right foot back. We're in a runner lunge. Get your footing. Your feet are on railroad tracks. So come on all the way up, hands on the hips. We'll think about our hips are pointing forward. Inhale the hands overhead. We're in our crescent lunge. Maybe arch the back a little bit and look at those fingertips. We're in a stable, grounding, foundational pose. Now let's drop the right heel down so the toes are pointing diagonally. And drop the right hand so our hips are like headlights facing forward. So we're going to inhale and cactus the arms. Exhale the arms and fold and round the back. Inhale, cactus the arms. Exhale, rounding the back. One more. Inhale, exhale, rounding the back. Bring the hands in front of the foot. And walk them into the center. Now we're going to do a wide leg down dog. Press the thumb and the index finger into the ground. Inhale. Exhale. This is nice. This opens up our hamstrings after that long hike. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, walk the hands back. And now we're going to turn to the opposite side. And we're going to position the feet so they're on those railway tracks again. Let's come up into that crescent lunge. Inhaling the arms overhead. Maybe bring the hands into the uh, Charlie's Angels pointer fingers. This is called, uh, um, I forgot what it's called. It's a mudra. Kali mudra. Inhaling. Exhaling. Inhaling. Exhaling. Now drop the Left heel, we're going to get in that warrior one. The hips are facing forward, so maybe you want to drop that left hand so the hips continue to face forward. And bring the hands out in front. Open up the right hand with a twist and bring the hands back together. Open up the left, bring the hands together. To the right and together to the left and together. Now bring the hands down to the mat, walk them back around to the center. And now we're going to do a little more hamstring opener. We're going to bend the right knee, open up the left hamstring, walk the hands over. And we'll be walking back and forth.
back over to the left side and we'll rotate back for the front of the mat, stepping the right foot forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, hold and roll the body up. Hands overhead. Exhale, do prayer into mountain. All right, that was our stand up warrior one flow. Now let's do our stand up warrior two flow. So we're going to inhale the hands overhead. Exhale, hinging at the hips. Coming into forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale the hands down to the mat. Step the right foot back and drop the rope in position of feet to warrior two. So pretend we're on that tightrope. Our back foot is parallel to the short end of the mat. Bring the hands to the hips. And now our hips and our shoulders are facing each other. They're facing and parallel to the long end of the mat. Bring the hands to the shoulders. Open up the shoulders. Now open up the hands and look over that front hand. Inhaling and exhaling. So let's inhale the hands over top and straighten the front leg and lift the front toes and give that side body a stretch. Exhale back to warrior two. Inhaling up. Straighten the leg, lift the toes. Exhaling back to warrior two. Now let's bring our, our we're in our warrior two legs. We're gonna inhale the peaceful warrior. Exhale the warrior two. Inhale the peaceful warrior. Exhale the warrior two. And now let's bring our feet to face the long end of the mat. We are going to open up to those cactus and our feet are going to come out diagonal. We're going to come down to our goddess slide. We'll lift the right heel and lower it. Lift the left, lower. Lift the right, lower. Lift the left. Lower. Now let's try to lift both heels. This is a balance pose. Remembering to breathe. I'm going to drop those heels, come upright, turn our body to face the back end of the mat, step forward, and we're in our mountain pose. Let's inhale the hands overhead. Exhale, hinging at the hips. Forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Let's step the left leg back and position the feet into warrior two feet. That means the back foot is uh, perpendicular to the front and the front heel is the bisecting the back arch. Come on up. Our bodies, our hips and our shoulders are parallel to the short end of the mat or the long end of the mat. Hands on the shoulders, open up the shoulder blades and the collarbones. Extend the hands out. Look over the front hand. Inhale. Exhale, reach further. So now we're going to inhale, straighten the front leg, reach the hands overhead, lift the front toes, open the front side body. Exhale, back to warrior two. Inhale, lift and straighten. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, lift and straighten. Exhale, warrior two. 
And let's bring our hands to our, uh, oh, we're back to do our peaceful warrior. So back to our warrior two. Flip the front hands. High five the back wall. Opening up that side body. Inhale, warrior two. Inhale, high five the back wall. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, lift the hands back. And Sam Warrior Two. Alrighty, let's bring our feet to face the long end of the mat and we'll step our feet in. We always have to do a little balancing. So what we're gonna do is a two-leg balance. We're gonna come up on the toes, stabilize ourselves, and drop the toes. And then bend the knees a little bit and think about being in that chair. So inhale, come up on the toes, reach the hands overhead. Exhale, heels down, bend the knees. Pretend we're in that chair. One more inhale. Last exhale. Come up right. And so now let's ground the left foot into the mat. Bend the right knee. Open up that knee, bring the heel to the ankle. This is stage one. Stage two would be maybe bring that foot up to the calf. And stage three would bring that foot into the inner thigh, but not the knee. So I'm gonna hang out here with my heel on my ankle. And look across the room, find a stationary spot. I like to bring my hands into prayer pose. Praying that I am upright and stay upright. Inhale, reaching the crown to the sky. Exhale, rooting the foot into the mat. Maybe inhale, reach the arms up. Hands can be on the tree limbs, opening the collarbones. Exhale, root into the mat. One more inhale. Last exhale. Bring the hands through prayer. Bring the knee forward and step down and shake it out. All righty, let's ground our right foot into the mat. Lift the left heel. Open up the left knee. And maybe if you are, uh, maybe this leg is different. So also I want you to think about something a lot of times when we're in this uh, tree, our hips can kind of sway from side to side. When we're rooted into that ground, our hip isn't sticking out. So think about rooting that right foot into the ground and elongating the spine. Inhale, maybe bring the hands to the chest. Find your stationary spot across the room. Exhale, ground into your mat. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, bring the knee forward, step down. Let's do some hip circles to loosen up our hips. Rotate them the opposite way. And let's find a seat on our mat. Bring the feet forward into our staff pose, our L seat. We were here earlier. Let's inhale the arms overhead. Exhale, hinging at the hips, coming into a forward fold. Letting the chin rest on the top of the chest. And remembering to breathe. Now let's walk the hands up the legs. Bend the right foot. Spin the left arm over the left leg, wrap it around the right bent knee, 
Take the right hand and we have another twist here. All right, now let's take both hands and twist the opposite way. Coming back forward, let's bend the left knee, let the feet touch. We're gonna come into our butterfly, Bhattakanasana pose. Lean forward and let the nose come toward the toes. Let's sit here for a few breath cycles. Ready to walk the body upright. Bring the right knee up. Extend the left leg, or the right, extend the right leg. And the left knee is going to point toward the ceiling. The right hand is going to come over the right leg. Wrap it around the left knee. And we have a twist. Unwind. Let's come back opposite way and twist the other way. Coming back to the center, bend both legs. We're gonna do our boat pose. Boat pose could have could have uh you just lift your toe. You could stay on your toes and balance on your the back of your uh, bottom. Hands are upright, chest is shining forward. And we can just lightly touch our toes. Maybe lift our shins to parallel to the ground and have the hands behind the thighs. This is another option. Another option could be raise the hands so the palms are shining toward the ceiling. Remembering to breathe. Now drop the toes and let's bring the body all the way down to the mat. Let's open our feet to the width of the mat and we'll do the knee dips, alternate twisting like windshield wipers. All right, so now let's do our uh, pelvic tilt. So we're not going to lift our bottom up very high, like maybe a quarter of an inch. So think about grounding your feet and putting, placing your palms on the sides of the hips, squeezing the knees together, and just tilt the hips up a tiny bit. Engage the glutes. Squeeze the thighs together, activate the core. Exhale, relax. Inhale, engage, squeeze the glutes, the knees together. Activate the core, press into the hands, press into the bicep. Exhale, relax. Inhale one more time. Squeeze, activate core, glutes, thighs. Exhale, relax. All right, now let's take our right foot and cross it over our left knee. Take the right hand and press that knee open. Maybe you feel it in your hip flexors. Option two is thread the hands behind the left thigh, flex both feet, and pull that left leg in. Remember, you can take your right elbow to keep that right knee open.
Remembering to inhale and exhale. Inhaling and exhaling. If your hands are behind the left leg, relax them, let that left leg fall to the ground. Let's cross the knee. And I'm gonna scoot over to the right side of my mat and let those knees fall to the left. Maybe take your left hand and pull the top leg down. Maybe look backwards over to the right hand. Maybe reach down and grab the left foot. How'd she grab the left foot? Unwind, come back up. And now let's extend the right foot up toward the ceiling. And we're going to open it out to the right to open up that right inner thigh. Maybe you let the uh, hand rest on that top leg as a kickstand. Maybe you reach and grab that big toe to open it up. Release the leg, bring it back in. Now we'll take the left leg and cross it over the right knee. And take the left hand and open up that left leg. Open up the left hip flexor. This is option one. Option two is thread the hands behind the right thigh. Flex both feet. Remembering to breathe. Now release the leg. Maybe scoot over to the right side, left side of your mat. Cross the legs like you're sitting in a chair. Extend the hands up to a T and let those knees fall to the right. Maybe take the right hand and, and let it rest on the top leg, looking back at the left hand. Maybe reach down and grab that right foot with the left hand. Remember and breathe here. Already release the legs, coming back to the center. We're going to extend that left leg upright. Let it fall open to open up the inner thigh. Maybe use your elbow like a kickstand. Maybe reach and grab the big toe. I'm going to use the kickstand on this leg. Bend the leg and let's ground our hips into the mat. Coming into our second to last pose, let's bring the feet up toward the sky. Have the hands behind the thighs, maybe the outer edges of the feet, maybe grabbing the big toes and rocking from side to side in happy baby. Our playful pose. When you're ready, I invite you to extend the legs down to the length of the mat. Maybe let your heels rest on each corner. Maybe let the toes fall outward. And let the palms shine up toward the sky to receive from the universe. 
Notice where your heels are resting in the mat. Relax the calves into the mat. Feel where the backs of the thighs are resting on the mat. Relax your lower back. Relax the belly. Notice where the backs of their shoulder blades are resting. Open up your heart. Open up the collarbones. Feel the place where your skull is resting on the mat. Maybe rock from side to side. Relax the jaw. Relax the cheekbones. Relax the eyes. Relax that spot in between your eyebrows. Relax the forehead. Relax the crown of your head. Relax into your Shavasana. Now wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingertips, bring your feet together and point the toes. And reach the arms over your head and come into one big stretch on the inhale. Baby. Exhale, relax. Now let's roll over to our right side, resting your head on your right bicep and your left hand in front of the chest. Crunch the knees into a fetal pose. Inhale. Exhale, push into that hand and let's meet in easy feet. You can gently blink open your eyes because we're gonna do a little breath meditation in five easy steps. Step one is find your easy seat. When we're sitting in crisscross apple thigh, it's grounding our sit bones and opening up our collarbones. Step two is relax the gaze. So if your eyes are open, go ahead and relax the gaze. Step three is inhale and say inhale in your mind. Step four is exhale. Step five is do it 10 times. So let's inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, last inhale, exhale. All right, I feel relaxed. Let's do our affirmations. We'll inhale the arms open, 
Exhale, giving ourselves a giant hug, saying, I'm okay. I'm okay. Inhale, the arms open. Exhale, the arms closed. I am safe. Inhale, the arms open. Exhale, the arms closed. I am loved. I am loved. So bring those hands in to namaste. Tell your body, thank you for supporting you in this practice. I thank each of you for allowing me to lead you today in this yoga and breathwork practice. Namaste and amen. Thank you, everybody. Bye-bye. Stay. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.